Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. With you, as always, myself, Bob, and got my brother with me, Mr. Scott Tripp, a.k.a. The Crypto Beast. As you guys know, we like to take a couple minutes out of our day, uh, kind of go through some of the headlines that we see in crypto, bring them to you guys' attention. Uh, that way, you don't have to take all the time to watch all the videos and read all the news articles. <laughs> but uh, happy Friday. Uh, appreciate you guys being with us, as always. Um, you know, we've been talking a lot about the market over the, the last couple of weeks, and, and, and this, it, we're starting to really feel that pressure. Uh, but before we go into getting into the news today, I'll let Scott tell you a little bit about himself and then we'll go right at it. Yeah, for sure. As always, Scott with uh, Big One as well as uh, Asia Blockchain Community or Blockcast. So happy to be here and excited for another day, the end of the week and the start of a new week after the weekend. So, yeah, let's keep doing what we do. Yes, sir. Uh, so just to talk a little bit about the market, we was uh, we right before we jumped on la uh, last night, we kind of seen the market kind of like start dumping and Bitcoin start, to, uh, you know, losing that 39 to 41 range. Uh, and we kind of knew what was going to happen if that happened. And, and here we are. So most of the news today, if you guys haven't heard by now, is literally uh is literally Bitcoin crashing, okay? Like, so a lot of the news articles today, if you guys didn't hear it by now, we're gonna be the first to tell you Bitcoin is crashing a little bit. Uh, so the market just, you know, just looking a little bit bearish right here, you know? So uh, we're just gonna pay attention to it. So my first news article is actually gonna be uh, coming from Bloomberg. And the headline is Coinbase sees biggest drop on record as cryptocurrencies crumble. So, uh, we're going to read a little bit into it. The world's largest, I mean, the, the largest U.S. crypto trading platform fell as much as 15.7 on Friday. It's largest, uh, biggest ever single session decline. And one of that, and that pushed its lowest level since the April IPO. At the same time, uh, Bitcoin lost as much as 8.7. So the correlation between coin and Bitcoin remains very strong, very strong said Matt Maley, the chief marketing strategy uh for Miller Tabak and company uh, referring to Coinbase's ticker. So they're basically saying, you know, Coinbase, even though it, it's on a, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's the big, you know, it's coin has their own coin that's on the NASDAQ stock exchange. Um, and, you know, it's, it failed today as well as, you know, they kind of say it's mimicking Bitcoin, like it, it, it's, it's kind of correlating number two, I mean, in between the two. So Coinbase just had a, a, a big dump today, uh, as well as Bitcoin. And, and, you know, just like I said, today, most of the, the news articles was talking about that. But um, it was another uh, part of this that said developments like DeFi and NFTs have stoked the growth of the expectations for coin, which was otherwise a mature Bitcoin at, um, and on top of other trading business. Uh, so it, it kind of sounds like, you know, it did NFTs and and, um, and DeFi did bring in a lot of new money into Coinbase and help that platform get a, a lot higher. But again, we remember who the who the grandfather is, and when the grandfather is uh, not getting up very well, then we all kind of uh, sag down with it, right? Yeah, definitely for sure. Well, and this is kind of funny. The one article I picked about news or Bitcoin today is New York Mayor fulfills promise to receive paycheck in Bitcoin. Uh, New York Mayor Eric Adams became the latest pro-crypto mayor to receive payment in Bitcoin. As he's taken a bold step to fulfill one of his promises as he accepts to set to take his first paycheck in Bitcoin according to available information. The mayor in November last year promised to take his first free, free paychecks in office as mayor in crypto. Recent revelation, re, 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 revelations have now revealed that Mayor Adams will be receiving his first paycheck in Bitcoin and Ethereum later on Friday. The paycheck will be converted using one of the leading crypto exchanges in the United States Coinbase. It is important to note that Mayor Adams made his promise regarding cryptocurrency. The crypto market was experiencing a green run that accumulated an all-time high. However, the crypto market has since shed most of the gains as a flagship digital asset for the second in recent weeks drop below the 40k mark. But despite the fall in value, the pro crypto mayor unfazed in one of his recent statements, he expressed his desire to make New York the center of the world innovation in the financial world. Apart from the New York City mayor, another pro crypto mayor is that of Miami, Francis Suarez, who is the first to take his paycheck in Bitcoin. So these guys are both happy that they're continuing to 
to take their paychecks in Bitcoin. I think it's probably cost average or whatever over it anyway. So I don't think it matters the price of the Bitcoin. They get whatever their salary is at that time. So in the end, if Bitcoin's low, this mayor is loading up before the price goes back up. So brilliant on his end. So yeah, I mean he's he's literally getting dollar cost average uh paychecks and and I'm pretty sure he's been getting fiat paychecks for so long that uh he's not really living check to check. <laughs> so this is uh you know just him storing up some money and putting it up. So uh definitely a super smart move. Um it's almost like a staking. He's doing staking right now with Bitcoin. So uh yeah. congratulations to him. Um, so my next article will be coming from Cointelegraph. The headline read, Bulgaria's finance minister says the country is exploring crypto payment options. So the government officially, or the government official added that he thought Bulgaria was unlikely to become a major hub for crypto miners. Many of whom, uh, many reported um, that most people might have came there after they left Kazakhstan. But uh, I don't think they're going to be looking into it doing a, a a central hub for mining there. Um, but he goes on to say here, he said, uh, as a member of the European Union, Bulgaria is one of, of eight countries that hasn't adopted the Euro and wouldn't necessarily benefit from the rollout of a digital Euro among petitions, uh, participating central banks. In June, 2021, the government and Bulgarian <clears throat> national banks said they intended to adopt the Euro start in 2024. So the Euro central bank, President Christine Lagarde said in March that the digital currency might not be introduced until 2025, if not later. So um, <clears throat> it looks like they're going to be, you know, talking about exploring some options for uh, payment of, of, of a digital token, but they're talking about maybe in the future 2025 or 2020, maybe even later. So uh, definitely something to keep an eye on uh, over there in Bulgaria, but it's just sounds like you know more adoption is happening around the world and you keep hearing digital payment now and digital to this and digital to that and everything's digital so uh, i'd say crypto is definitely uh making its name <laughs> oh yeah definitely well here's a good example uh i think it was last week we we're talking about south korea not allowing game of five but now here they are again south korea explores metaverse plans it aims to make aims to become the fifth biggest metaverse market by 2026. South Korea is eyeing the growing metaverse expansion and is all set to work towards developing itself as a major game player in the field. But according to the official press release, South Korea will be working with 220 metaverse companies to create a metaverse academy and later produce 40,000 trained metaverse professionals by 2026 to take a lead in a given domain. As per the source, the country is also planning to build an online Korean language institute on metaverse to facilitate global user interaction and help foreigners engage with several projects on metaverse, including medicine, K-pop, tourism, and arts. Uh, the reason why I guess I'm saying is FUD is like, it's so funny last week, they were talking about Gamify and banning it. Now they're going full force into Metaverse, which is the biggest gaming place there is. I mean, not play to earn, I guess, but how are they going to hold their people back from play to earn in the Metaverse when there is going to be a bunch of games in there that are definitely going to be play to earn? So just my opinion. Yeah. Um, they'll, <clears throat> they'll regulate. <clears throat> I think they'll regulate the ones that, you know, they can't control and, and the ones they can't, you know, people will find a way that they want to play them, right? Oh, yeah. Get a little drink of water. <clears throat> so to go into my next article, um, it's coming from Cointelegraph. I actually seen this on multiple head headlines today, but SEC rejects MicroStrategy's Bitcoin and accounting practices. So uh, according to the Bloomberg report, a comment le letter from the SEC released Thursday showed the regulatory body objected to MicroStrategy reporting information related to his Bitcoin purchases based on a non-GAAP, or which is uh, known as a generally accepted accounting principles. Uh, the business intelligence firm has been reporting it used the methods of calculating figures for its Bitcoin buys by excluding the impact shares of the comp compensation expense and apparent losses and gains on sale from intangible assets essentially negating other 
uh, some of the effects of the volatility of crypto market. So the rules, um, the, it seems like what they're saying here is the rules, pretty much MicroStrategy was reporting, I guess, <clears throat> um basically they were reporting like when they were buying their crypto it was like an investment um so they wouldn't like when something's an ongoing investment you don't pay uh taxes on it i think that's what they're trying to get around um i don't think that the uh sec was we, we see the sec <laughs> uh didn't like what they did here so uh it looks like they're gonna have to probably <clears throat> come up with a, a little plan or something and, and, and redevelop something else but uh, since that happened, MicroStrategy did uh, drop 17.8% uh, um, in the last 24 hours, which is a six-month low uh, for MicroStrategy. It's currently sitting at uh, 375, and then you know Bitcoin also is, is at a six-month low, uh, around 38,000. So Michael Saylor is definitely uh, if you guys feel like, if <laughs> if you guys feel like you're feeling the dip, he's feeling the dip. Cause he's a beast and he's been through this how many times before probably so. got, all the money he got tied up in crypto is probably only two percent of his worth yeah so let's uh <laughs> he, he's gonna be good either way he's not gonna be at mcdonald's with me burgers or anything no or eating a ice cube hot dog sandwich <laughs> that thing was so funny today. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, and my third article is Twitter job posting hints at DAOs and membership tokens. So Twitter is hiring an additional leader for its crypto division, according to a new published job posting. The job posting suggests that Twitter will explore DAOs, membership tokens, and other crypto applications. The new hire will work alongside Ted Tess. Reinerson, who was recently hired to lead Twitter's crypto division. Uh, the new hire will serve in the role of senior product manager crypto to explore blockchain, cryptocurrency, and Web3. And it says, the job posting reveals some of Twitter's potential future cryptocurrency plans. Notably, it mentions the company plans to explore membership tokens, implying that Twitter could issue its own custom blockchain token in the future. The posting also says the firm will explore decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs, a blockchain-based governance method that could presumably grant coin holders some input on Twitter's development decisions. Finally, it suggested Twitter's crypto division could collaborate with Blue Sky, the company's social media decentralization arm. So that's interesting. The only part I don't like is their damn NFT section. You got to pay Twitter blue, whatever. That's you suck. <laughs> it, here's the thing, right? I'm not connecting my wallet. To I'm not stuff. either. But like, for why? Like, what? here, here's, here's the second part, right? Scott. <clears throat> well, maybe we will talk about this one another time. I won't go into it on here because uh, we got to stay on topic with our news. Uh, but yeah, I'd say with Twitter, you know, they're just uh, they're doing their thing uh, and they're trying to get into the the digital realm and they're going to be able to do it uh they, they have the size and capacity to build out uh some pretty cool things obviously um but you know i think as web3 develops i think you might see other platforms that could be built out that could you know probably overtake twitter uh and and and, and do so uh but it it'll still have like twitter will still have the users right it'll, it'll still be uh people who feel more comfortable just using regular twitter so and that'll be okay so like yeah i, I think that what they're doing is smart you know potentially hitting at a blockchain potentially hitting that is potentially hitting at that uh you know they're just they're, they're pumping their bags baby let's go <laughs> so shout out to twitter for that but to get into the last part of the episode today guys uh we're going to jump over to trading view uh probably not going to be your favorite part of the news today uh, but uh, we, we kind of got to these areas of uh, uh, the crypto market cap right now is sitting at 1.67 trillion um, total crypto market cap with the Ethereum dominance at 18.2 and the Bitcoin dominance at 40.96. So it's funny that, you know, people are saying that a lot of things are getting uh, Bitcoins offloading, but it, if you look at dominance, it would appear that the Ethereum side is uh, 
probably selling or you know losing getting more liquidations than the bitcoin side as far as percentage uh wise goes not not uh not not overall uh money but um but yeah it's definitely a, a interesting day on the market uh it's been a lot of uh you know kind of like bearish sentiment now we kind of been hinting at it that you know we could potentially be taking this route and uh you know and and scott knows like i i've kind of drawn it out and, and looked at it and and we could take we could potentially see a little bit more but it could be an area of bounce that could happen but uh you know overall i think you know like it's it's a great time <clears throat> to be you know kind of looking at things and, and finding finding some things that you like or that you think you might have missed uh when we just seen this last run and if it's something on there that you like go ahead and, and pick up some uh pick up a uh, open up a uh, um you, you know a browser and, and go study that uh project and, and see what else they have going on and, and not only that find their competitors and see what they do and then find out the difference and this is how we can educate uh one you know ourselves and then you could tell somebody you can jump into a twitter space or you could you know you could come by and chat with us in uh telegram and, and let us know uh what you guys are learning about as well we're always uh, uh, open to hear that but uh won't hold up too many much um more of your time guys it's friday uh, it's the weekend. Unfortunately, we won't be here tomorrow or Sunday, but we'll be back again Monday, uh, giving you guys more crypto news. Uh, and, you know, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Yeah, for sure. Everyone, enjoy your weekend. We'll be talking to you soon. Uh, relax. Stay positive. Everything will be okay. Don't watch the charts. Don't watch the charts. Unless you're accumulating. Yeah, exactly. Have a good day, you guys. We'll talk soon. Okay, bye for Peace. now.